Hi children, I hope you are all stay at home. And today we are going to discuss about one of the important grammar topics, prepositions in parts of speech. So now what is a preposition? A preposition is a word placed before a noun, pronoun or gerund. It denotes the relation of the person or thing with something else. Example, the food is on the table. In this sentence, on shows the relation between the food and the table. Second example, I am fond of chocolates. In this sentence, of shows the relation between the words fond and chocolates. A preposition is always followed by a noun and never by a verb. If we want a verb to follow a preposition, we must use the in form of that particular verb, which should be a gerund. Example, I am fond of riding. Now let us know the kinds of prepositions. Prepositions are of four kinds. First one, the simple prepositions, compound prepositions, phrasal or group prepositions, and participle prepositions. Now let us discuss about in detail. First one, simple prepositions. These simple prepositions include at, by, for, in, of, of, on, of, through, till, to, up, with, etc. And compound prepositions. And these compound prepositions are usually formed by prefixing a preposition to a noun, adjective or adverb and these prepositions are above, above, across, along, amidst, among, amongst, around, before, behind, beneath, beside, between, beyond, inside, outside, underneath, within, without, etc. Next, phrasal or group prepositions. And these phrasal or group prepositions are formed by joining two or more words. And these include phrases like according to, in accordance with, in place of, agreeable to, in addition to, in reference to, along with, on behalf, in regard to, away from, in case of, in spite of, because of, in, in comparison to, instead of, by dint of, in compliance with, in the event of, by means of, in consequence of, on account of, by reason of, in course of, owing to, by virtue of, in favor of, with a view to, by way of, in front of, with an eye to, conformable to, in lieu of, with reference to, for the sake of, in order to, with regard to, etc. And third and fourth kind, participle prepositions. When present participles are used without any noun or pronoun attached to them, these are called participle prepositions. And these prepositions include barring, 
concerning, passing, considering, during, notwithstanding, pending, regarding, respecting, touching, etc. Now let us see the classes of prepositions. To take a distinction, simple prepositions can also be divided into three classes. They are prepositions of time and date, and prepositions of place, prepositions of travel and movement. And these prepositions of time and date include at, on, in, by, to, till, until, during, for, since, from, within, before, after, afterwards, then, etc. And the proportions of place include at, in, on, to, behind, etc. And proportions of travel and movement include from, to, by, on, in, into, at, out, out of, of, etc. Now let us see the position of prepositions. Prepositions normally precede nouns or pronouns. However, in certain cases, it is possible to move the preposition to the end of the sentence. When object of the prepositions is an interrogative pronoun like what, who, whom, which, where, etc., the preposition can take the end or the beginning of a sentence. Example, what are you thinking of? To whom were you talking? And when the object of the preposition is the relative pronoun that, the preposition takes the end position. Example, this is the dish that she is found out. And proportion comes in the end in case of a relative class. When the object of the proposition is infinite to two plus verb, the proposition is placed after the infinite to. Example, it is a beautiful house to live in. And in some sentences, where the relative pronoun is hidden, the preposition takes the end position. Example, this is the girl that I that I told you of. In some sentences, preposition is attached to the verb. Example, I hate being laughed at. Now let us learn the common uses of prepositions. The prepositions in and at. At shows the stationary position or existing state. Example, she is at home. At, at also is used to tell about the timings or the, or the position or a stay, for example, at noon, at the age of 90, and so on. And the preposition in shows movement. For example, the train is in motion. Also, it is used to express a period of time. For example, in February, in the morning, in the year 1992, in summer, etc. And the preposition at is also used for a small place and for a precise point of time. Example, he lives at 
Suras Khan in Haryana. Second example. The train will arrive at 6 in the morning. In the above sentences, we can see that in is used for a big place, town, city, etc. and for a period of time. And the preposition to and into. To is used in the following cases to specify direction, destination and so on. For example, turn to the left. I am going to Jaipur and to also is used until, for example, from Monday to Friday or 5 minutes to 10 and so on. And to also is used in comparison. For example, they prefer cricket to hockey. They prefer cricket to hockey. And with indirect object also, to is used. For example, please give it to me. And to also is used as part of the infinitive. For example, I want to help you. And to also is used in order to. Example, we went to the store to buy soap. And the preposition into is used in the following cases. For example, we stepped into the room. Or uh, into also is used change in condition. The boy changed into a man. And into also is used to denote movement. For example, he jumped into the well. And next prepositions, beside and besides. The meaning of beside is by the side of. Example, he was sitting beside Sarla. We camped beside a lake. Next preposition, besides. The meaning of besides is in addition to or as well as. Example, he has a car besides a motorcycle. Another example. Besides doing the cooking, I help him. Next prepositions. Between and among. Between is used for two things or persons, but it can also be used for more than to when we have a different number in mind and there is a close relation or association within them. Example, he distributed his property between his two sons. Another example, a treaty was signed between the three parties. Among is usually used for more than two persons or things when you have no definite number in mind. Example, he was happy to be among his friends again. Another example, he distributed his property among the poor. And the prepositions with and by. With is used for instruments and by is used for agents. Example, the snake was killed by him with a stick. Here, by is used before the doer of the action. And the prepositions under and underneath. Under is used for living beings and underneath is used for non-living things only. Example, hide this underneath the table. Another example, I work under Mr. Singh. Third example, he
he is hiding under the table and the prepositions on and upon on is used when two things are touching each other example we sat on the chair and upon is used when one thing is located directly above the other thing example the cat jumped upon the chair now the prepositions of and of of is used to refer to the location for example is staff here the middle of the road and so on and of also is used to express a, a position for example if a friend of mine the sound of music etc and of also is used as part of group for example one of us a member of the team and so on the preposition of also is used in measurement for example a cup of milk 2 meters of snow etc and of is used in refer to not on away or from or or removal example please keep off the glass and of also is used to refer at some at some distance from for example there are islands off the coast and the prepositions during or for the preposition during is used with a known period of time that is the periods known by name such as christmas diwali or periods which have already been defined example during the middle ages during the winter etc and the preposition for may be used to denote purpose and may also be used before known periods for example i went there for the summer they went to the club for partying here the preposition during has two meanings first one throughout the duration and in course of and next preposition since or from since is used to denote a point in time and never for a period of time example it has been raining since since 6 o'clock since can also be used as an adverb example he left school in 1983 i haven't seen him since and we use from when we measure time in seconds minutes hours days months years etc and we also use since with a specific date or time and from is normally used with to or till or until example most people work from 8 to 6 from can also be used to denote place for example he is from mumbai and the prepositions before after and afterwards before is used in reference to two events example 
the train had left before he reached the station. After is a preposition, while afterwards is an adverb. Afterwards can be used at either end of a clause and can be modified by soon, immediately, not, long, etc. After is followed by a noun, pronoun or gerund. Example, after visiting them, we came back. Another example, we visited them and afterwards they came back. Soon afterwards, I got a call from them. And next prepositions on, of, out of. On is used for a place of work and, and also for a mode of travel. Example, on an estate, on the railway, on a bicycle. On is also used with days and dates. Example, on 25th February, on Thursday, etc. Out is used mostly with get, like get out of a vehicle, get out of the house, etc. And the prepositions till and until. Till means up to. It can be used with from or without it. Example, we work from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Another example, we work till 6.30 p.m. And the preposition until means up to a time or before. We use until when the activity continues throughout the period of period up to the time limit. Example, there were visa applications, there were visa applicants in a waiting room till until 7 p.m. Thank you.